Hello everybody, I am MMFQ Death, and welcome to a playthrough that I am super excited about. Pokemon Shining Pearl as a Nuzlocke. Uh, looks like I'm going back to the beginning of the intro again, but... So, I've never played a 4th gen game. I've also never played a Nuzlocke. So, the intro might be a little bit repetitive, because here in a second I already recorded a clip because I didn't realize that the game was going to start up a certain way, so I kind of had to wing it. But, regardless, it's going to be a Nuzlocke, and I've never done that, and I also have no experience playing the fourth generation of Pokemon, because I just never have done it. So, I figured, what a beautiful way to do it, other than to just throw myself into it and completely hate myself. <laughs> so, without taking up too much time, uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump into the game and get started. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? So, you know, normally in playthroughs i tend to go for the basic guy but uh i think this time we're actually gonna go with dawn since this is my first nuzlocke and also the first time that i'm recording a main series pokemon game for youtube so hey dawn it is right all right so we're gonna go with persephone because i had to think for a little while on how i could make death work as a girl so, Persephone is the wife of Hades in Greek mythology. So, we're going to go with that. A little bit of a big brain thing for something that I'm doing at 6 in the morning and I haven't slept. But I've been really excited to do this. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so your name's per Persephone. I have to figure out how to say my own name. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Oh. You know, I could go with one of the default ones. These are all looking pretty good, but um, you guys will just have to wait and find out what his name is. I mean, it's not like you're not going to find out in five seconds. So anyway. All right, Persephone, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. I'm really happy with how that one came out. That part of the voice acting? Mwah. Chef's kiss. That part was good. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report. Search for the red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. And looks like we are here in our room, ready to start our adventure. Oh, look at Chibi Dawn. Look at her. All right, she looks way better than the male character because I'm also uh, doing uh, a just playthrough by myself, just normally uh, of Brilliant Diamond. But I wanted to do a Nuzlocke on Shining Platinum. I figured my first Nuzlocke. Uh, it only makes sense to do it in a game that I have never played ever before. Because 4th gen and 5th gen, uh, never played them. I played 5th gen a little bit. I went back and did it at some point. Never played 4th gen at all, though. Because I, I just assumed by the time I'd go back and play it, they'd release a remake of some. And here we are. I was right. So anyway, 
let's go ahead and take a nap. Oh, okay, that's cute. Okay, so controls seem pretty normal. So wait, I can save now? Yeah, save early. Save early, save often. That's what they always say. Hi, Mom. Persephone, balls came calling for you a little while ago. Hopefully that was not a uh, shock to any of you who didn't know what I named the rival. I don't know what it is, what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Okay. What is this? Here we are. It's Contest Digest. The star of the show is today's normal and cleverness contest is Wesley, who won the prize particularly well grown Pokemon. That's all the time we have today. Let's meet again. Mom made cookies? Dude, why are, like... The floor upstairs is like this too, but look at how reflective the floor is. Like, that's insane. Whoever buffed these floors in this game is an actual MVP because they are so shiny. Uh, don't go into the tall grass. What? Yep, that's how Pokemon works. So, my thought process is, is I've never played a 4th gen game before. <clears throat> And I'm sure that there are plenty of people out there doing Let's Plays on this, like full-blown, just normal Let's Plays. Uh, so, I, they've been around longer. They've been doing this longer. You guys probably are going to watch them play it. So, I'm going to do something different. And since it's my first time experiencing this game, for the most part, I, I have already started to save on Brilliant Diamond. Uh, which I believe I stated in the clip I recorded earlier. I've made it moderately far on that, and I've noticed that the game is very easy, so I do kind of want to limit myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second here to kind of pop the rules up on screen because I haven't fully decided them as of the time of recording. Okay, so since I did a horrible job at explaining the rules during the video, I'm going to go over them now. So first, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead, and it has to either be released or put in a death box in the PC. Number two. You have to nickname all of your Pokemon, that way you grow more attached to them and you actually care when they die. Three, you can't reload any saves for a free redo. Basically, don't cheat. Four, a whiteout is considered to be a game over, even if you have extra Pokemon in the PC. Five, the dupes clause. Normally you would catch the first wild Pokemon in an area. However, that rule doesn't apply if you've already caught that Pokemon or you already have that same Pokemon or something that it evolves into. But there's a hard limit on that of five. If you run into the same Pokemon five times in an area, you just don't get an encounter. Six, you can only catch the first wild Pokemon encountered in each area, which obviously goes along with the dupes clause. And seven, the shiny clause. Shiny Pokemon are exempt from that role. And that's it. And there are some other things, but I haven't really decided on it yet. Like, I know that one of the things that we're going to have to do is deal with the underground, which I know is a thing, but I don't know much about it. Wait, is this not where I'm supposed to go? Oh, right. No, I'm supposed to go to Balls. Uh, which house is Balls? Um, I don't know how exactly I'm going to deal with the whole underground situation, because since Pokemon technically run wild in the underground, I don't know... If I should treat it as like the first Pokemon I lay my eyes on. But then how do you guys actually know that I'm being honest with which one I saw first? Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to do like... I, I, I don't really know how I'm going to deal with the underground yet. But I know that with the starter, I'm probably going to pick... We're going to need the underground as soon as we get access to it. Because that's really going to be the only way that we can get anything done. Oh, am I supposed to follow him inside, too? Yep. Okay. So he ran out, hit me in the face, and then ran back inside. This is why I named the kid Balls. Balls, I'm here. Hi, Balls, his mom. I'm going upstairs. Balls! Hi. Yep, let's go to the lake. Yep, I know. 10 million dollar fine if I'm late 10 well so 10 million 
yen poken i don't know what the currency is yen i know it's based on yen but i forget what it's actually called right okay totally forgot tech speed fast um Honestly, kind of digging 23. Uh, also need to set the battle style to set. Send to boxes is going to be manual. Nicknames, definitely give. Uh, gyroscope, doesn't matter. So I'm torn on the whole autosave thing. I like the idea of autosave because I noticed with Brilliant Diamond, I did have a couple of issues. But I also, because I'm recording... I kind of don't want auto save on. The problem is I'm just going to have to remember to save a lot. Uh, definitely show nicknames. Um, yeah, background music at 8. That's fine. Sound effects. Yep. Okay, cool. I think that that's all good. So yeah, save. And let's go ahead and save the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what Balls wants. Hi. Saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon that are like, what a title, man. That is a insanely long time. How does that even fit on the TV guide? Uh, that show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay, that's a bit ambitious, buddy. All right, sure. Let's go. Uh... You okay? You good? All right, let's try that again. No, stop. Okay. I don't, I don't know what you're doing behind me, but I'm just going to keep going and act like you're not doing anything weird. All right, to the lake. Let's find us Red Gyarados. Dude, the music sounds so good, too. All right, what's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. I also totally forgot what voice I was doing for Rowan, so this is what we're going with. Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm. There is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. I, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing with his voice. Excuse me. Let us pass, please. But that's, it is what it is. Sorry, folks. What was that about those two? Huh, Persephone, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem. No problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. See, this, boys and girls, is what we call foreshadowing. I don't like the heavy blur at the ends of the screens. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Oh, look! Almost crazy, like this was meant to happen the whole time. There's Starlies attacking. Okay, what's going on? Alrighty, so. In my playthrough of uh, Brilliant Diamond, I went with Chimchar. But I'm thinking this time I go with Piplup. Mainly because Chimchar makes the game extremely easy. Uh, there's no doubt he is the best starter to choose from the small bit of experience I have. Maybe the original games were different, but in the remakes, it definitely seems like Chimchar is the obvious choice. Uh, the, even the first gym was the hardest gym I had to fight, and that one, as soon as he learned a fighting move, it, it was just, it was over. Uh, so, the Piplup's definitely gonna be our choice. All right, first battle. Oh, look at us not in Chibi. All 
All right, so since we can't catch this one, this does not count as our first encounter, obviously. Man, imagine if we somehow lost to a level two Starly and lost Piplop, like just end of the run right here, first battle. Eat, eat, delete. Goodbye, Starly. Alrighty. First battle of the Nuzlocke, we are successful. Mm, okay. Ah, yeah. Yep, we did. Hmm. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> a great we uh you know <clears throat> you ever heard of team rocket no, no okay all right well yeah let's get out of here uh, i mean hurt is it all right sure mm, i think we could take like two or three more of those Okay, sure. I, it, why are you doing that behind? Stop it, please. Balls, balls, stop. Oh, crap. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Piplop and Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, yeah. Okay. P Professor, wait for me. You should visit us at our lab later, I think. Well, we'll be seeing you. What was all I cr We stole their Pokemon. And he was being a nice dude. I don't know if you want him back. I don't know, man. All right. Yeah, let's go home. Sure. Mom, today, I was Team Rocket. It was crazy. I, 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 don't ask how I know about him. Yep, I know. It was. Uh, I mean, Balls said he got really hurt, so I don't, I don't know. His Nuzlocke isn't going too well. Yep. Dude, no, he'll definitely understand. It's fine. Yo, running shoes. Okay. Dope. Okay. I don't know if my mic picked that up. My cats literally just came flying through the room at like Mach 2 and just slammed into the wall. You okay? <laughs> Alright, I think he's alive, so we're good. Alright. <laughs> Tilt the last stick firmly and dash about even faster than before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Cool. Yes, it is nifty, mom. Nifty. I love that word. Okay, so now I sprint and I can walk normally or hold B while using the D-pad. Cool. Yeah, free movement is definitely the way to go. Although, I'm assuming there probably will be times where we will need to be pixel locked. Uh, did our Pokemon get healed? Wait a minute. Can I not name my starter? Huh. Did I mess up already? Was I supposed to be able to... Hold on. I have nicknames on, right? Yeah, give nicknames give. Did I miss it? Part of me wants to go back and check the footage, but we're just going to move forward. I'm pretty sure that shit gives me a potion. Uh, you. No, it's not you. That guy's our first trainer. Maybe it's that girl up there that gives us a potion. Okay, so I don't know what the rolling would be on this. But I don't believe we have Pokeballs, right? No. 
Okay, so until we get Pokeballs, our first encounter on this route doesn't technically count. We have to have Pokeballs, at least I'm pretty sure that's how most Nuzlocke's work, is until you have Pokeballs, you don't start your encounters. Measured by hit points, HP for short. Okay. Hey, there's my potions. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate it. Okay, so I think this is where we talk to the professor. And then maybe this is where I get the nickname Piplup. Okay. Balls just constantly smacking into my head. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Don't, no. I'm gonna leave that in, but that wasn't intentional, I promise. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Later, dude. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally, you've come. Persephone, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Okay, there we go. So, okay, so we're going with Tux. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname. Your friend, Balls, <laughs> told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Piplop. Am I ever glad you're kind towards Pokemon? If you weren't, well, I don't want to think about it. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Hmm, good answer. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Persephone, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind- Oops, that's the wrong voice. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get to thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Persephone. Your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Cool beans. Lucas's father. Cool, cool, cool. You give me nothing. How about you? Anything over here? No hidden items. Okay. Bye, Rowan. Thanks for the Pokemon. Okay. You're about to show me. Yep, Pokemon Center. Okay. Yep. Pokemart. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Yes. I have we battled yet? I don't think we battled yet. Can I buy Pokeballs though? That's the question. I don't remember if we get given them first and I can't buy them until then. Or uh yeah, I want to buy some stuff. Cool, cool, I can. Let's go ahead and buy 10. That'll give me a premier ball. And then let's go ahead and buy some potions. Buy some antidotes. And let's buy some. 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 Let's
Let's buy some paralyzed heals. Okay. And there's our shopping done for a little while. Yep, you... Yeah, okay. Just basic stuff. Gotcha. Uh, let's just double check if our Pokemon did... Nope. Nothing happened to it. Uh, you know what? While I'm in here... Okay, serious nature. So you're nothing? Cool. Okay, that's not bad. That Honestly, that's better than the uh, Chimchar that I got in my Brilliant Diamond because it was a quiet nature, which is probably the worst nature you can have on a Chimchar. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back home, tell our mom that we're going on an adventure. And then it's going to be an awesome time. And now that we have Pokeballs, we can get our first encounter on the way. So what do we got? Yes! Okay, we got a Starly. <laughs> I was really worried it was going to be a Bidoof. Alrighty. Um, yeah, one pound is definitely not going to take it out or anything. So, okay. I think we can do two. I think... Okay, now that we've been growled, even if it's a crit, we're good. Okay, hit you again. Okay, well, if you're going to ground me twice, I'll hit you a third time. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Okay. Oh, very nervous, very nervous. This is a very important capture. Let's throw a Pokeball. Hey, welcome to the team. What am I gonna name ya? Uh, you are a female, Starly. Okay. Okay, already it is. In memory of, uh, well, not in memory of, but in, in, uh, I don't know what you would say to that. Anyway, uh, for Jaden Animations, because her bird is Ari. So. That's the only female bird name that I could come up with on short notice. Don't judge me. Hi, Mom. Yep, we're going on a journey. Oh, wait, yes. It may tap, nap first. Okay. Yes. Okay. Guidebook. Thank you. Makes me really happy too, but please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kindness of Pokemon you've caught, dear. The guidebook. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, is my little balls here? No balls as mom. There are no balls here. We are all, in fact, women. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted to, him to take this. Not to worry. Persephone will deliver that to him. Won't you, Persephone? Sure, because I'm the responsible one. Yes, I will take the parcel to balls. Bye-bye, Persephone. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably have... He would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my balls. <laughs> oh, I love the name already. You're forgetting something important. Am I? What What am I forgetting? Oh, my... Oh, the hat. Yeah, the iconic Dawn hat. Right, right. Yes, that hat always did suit you well. Now off you go. Dope. Now we're actually starting. Yeah, we already have our first Pokemon from the first route. So if I, if I'm correct, so this is Route 201. What is this consi Actually, do I want to get? Yeah, I think I do, because I could technically get a water Pokemon up here in the water. But since we have, okay, so Dupes Claws.
Okay, so Starling does not count. We will fight it, though, because we can use the experience, honestly. So, one thing that I'm curious about is I don't... Like, I've watched Nuzlocke's before, but I don't know what you guys want to do, because the opinion seems mixed. I don't know if I should show every battle so that you know that I'm not, like, doing anything shady. Like, I wouldn't, but, it, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I am. So I don't know if I should show every battle or if I should skip ones that, like, just honestly take forever. Like, for instance, these first few where, like, I'm fighting a Starly. Um, and, like, I'll still record it in case something happens, but, like, this is going to take a while considering that I keep getting growled. Like, I'm not really in danger, but... Okay, and then finally Starly's over. So, I don't know. Leave your opinions on that down in the comments below. And uh, if you have any nicknames for any potential Pokemon that might be coming up, then, you know, put that down there too. I don't know. That way I might have some ideas because uh, I'm not good at coming up with them on the spot. So, I know that we have to come here later. So, I think... Hmm. Yeah, I think for now I'm going to leave that encounter on the table. Is there an item or was that a flower? Oh yeah, it was nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead off on our journey. See if we can make it through this grass. Awesome, we did. What about this one? Oh, awesome. All right. So, again, since this isn't technically a Let's Play, I don't know how much you guys want me to show. Like, I'm probably going to talk to most of the people because I don't know. Like, I've never really, really, like, played this game. Like, most of you probably have. So I'm probably going to talk to most people. Yes, the PC. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. So yeah, I don't know what exactly you guys want me to show. Or if you want me to just kind of skip all of this kind of stuff. And just go straight to, like, the actual meat and potatoes of it. Like, you know, on the routes, the gym battles, stuff like that. Yes, I am. Cool. It is. Actually, why does that house have a sign next to it next to us? We just went in there and they didn't really do anything. Uh, yep. I know. Cool. So what does this sign say? Lucas. Oh, Lucas's house. Ah, okay, that's why. Oh, so this is Route 219. Ah, but it's all like an ocean and stuff, so I can't actually do anything down here. Okay, so I can't get an encounter here yet, I'm assuming. But up here, I believe we can. Route 202. Yep. And, okay, this is where Lucas is going to teach us how to catch Pokemon. So that's another question, because we aren't doing anything with this, so I'm assuming this does not, in fact, count as our encounter. Now, another problem is, is on the early couple routes, uh, Dupe's Claws is probably going to take effect. Yep, smack the Bidoof. Which, actually, I didn't think about this, because I was really worried that I wasn't going to get a Starly, and I was going to get stuck with a Bidoof. Uh... But, like, I guess realistically, I kind of had a lot of shots not to have that happen. Considering that, like, we realistically have to go through, like, three different encounter tables that all have Starly in it. Yep, I know. I already caught a Pokemon. Yep. Did it. Yes, there's one in my party right now. Yes. Cool, you give me more Pokeballs. Dope. Okay. Thanks. 
Jinx. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. I'm starting off real lucky here. I cannot knock out the Sphinx or the Shinx. And it has Intimidate. Okay. I don't know if I can water gun it. So I'm just gonna tackle. Yep, yep, yep. I don't believe it knows Thundershock yet. Okay. Throw a Pokeball. Wow, he gave me a lot of Pokeballs. Come on, Shinx. Join the team. I do already have your name picked out, so... Alright. Yes, I do. And Tesla has been added to your party. Okay, so just out of cure... Okay. Starly, could you not? I just wanted to get out of the grass for a second. Alright, let's try out this new water gun. See how much damage you do to a level 3. Okay, not bad. Yeah, Grad doesn't affect me anymore. You are now Void. Sorry, Starly, but I already caught one of you. Yeah, she did. Okay, so what I wanted to look at was... Let's take a look at these. So we already know Piplop. You are a bold nature, which... Oh, boy, is that bad. Oh, boy, is that bad. Right. Ari, I'm very sorry, but you are really bad. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to feel about a modest nature, Shinx, honestly. I don't know enough about Pokemon from this generation to know if... I know Shinx is normally uh, a physical attacker, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, he is definitely a physical attacker. Okay, so our natures are not doing too hot. Uh, well, cool, cool, cool. We are off to a fantastic start. I thought I was getting lucky, and I was wrong. Alrighty. At least our Piplup is decent. Maybe he won't die. I'm gonna run back and safety heal real quick because I do know that we have some of our first trainers and I would like to be able to use Tesla um, because he should be getting Thundershock soon and that will make him pretty good against some early trainers that are going to have flying types. Alrighty, what do we have now? Hello, I Bidoof. Thank you very much for not showing up during my encounters, but then again, you might have had an awesome nature. Um, I probably should be training up the others. However, with EXP all, I'm pretty much... My idea is I need to focus on Tox, because uh, I'm going to really need him for uh, the first gym. I believe it's the first gym. Maybe I'm misremembering. Is the grass gym before the rock gym? Ooh. I might be misremembering. There might be a grass gym first, which that would kind of blow. Because uh, I never played the original game, so I'm basing this all off my uh, previous experience with Diamond. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah. I should probably heal. 
because I'd really rather not lose my Pokemon already. Hello! So wait, 202. Is that a new... No, we were on 202 already, right? Hmm. That's gonna be something new for me, is trying to keep track of what route we're on. Okay, looks like Tux is now up to level 8. Tesla just hit 5. And another Bidoof. Okay. Lots and lots of Bidoof trainers. Sorry. Very sorry, Lass. Yeah, because that right below us is where we came in. Uh, sh Yeah, I should probably fight every... So, I remember at least the last time I did this. Rourke with Chimchar was the hardest gym in the game. Um, not because, like... There's, like I said earlier, Chimchar literally turns the whole game into easy mode. Um, so it's not like it was hard, hard, but I did, like, have a Pokemon faint, which was a first. Like, and I'd rather not repeat that in a Nuzlocke. Oh my god. I went one square, Shanks. Ah. <sighs> Okay, can I get out of the grass now? Thank you. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Okay, sure. You're gonna lose, but okay, let's do it. Youngster Logan. Nice, nice. Shinx. Cool. I am probably at a disadvantage if you have Thundershock. I am very, very scared. Level 5. I don't think mine learned Thundershock yet, so I'm gonna guess that you don't have it. Already taking risky plays, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it, so... I don't know how risky that would be considered. And Tesla now just hit level 6. Awesome. We are getting up there. I'd like to be around... Probably 15 before taking on Rourke. Ugh, I knew it. Okay. Jinx, stop. Stop it. Leave me alone. I already caught one. I can't catch more. I can't do it. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's try the D-pad. Okay, so different Pokemon appear at different times times of the day in this game, apparently. Wait, are you about to fight me? Oh, no, okay, you're not. Uh, and I can't catch more. I'm not allowed. It's a challenge, Lucas. Jeez. Guy's never even heard of a Nuzlocke before. When your Pokemon all die, it's not my problem. All right, so the trainer school is going to be kind of scary. Because both of those Abras just spam... Uh, I'm totally blank on the name of the move now. But I I know for a fact that Piplup, Piplup can't take it. Uh, and neither can Ari. So Tesla is kind of my only option. And I'm pretty sure that they are way higher level than six. Huh. I don't remember what level they are, and I don't want to fight them because if I if, if they are way higher level than six, then I'm just done. Uh, because charge beam is pretty good. Uh, all right, balls, I'm here. Uh, nope. I don't need to. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing that your mom gave me because you, you ran. Yep. 
Oh, she gave me one too, but didn't give it to me. She gave it to me to give to you to give to me. Cool. Okay. Dope. That makes perfect sense. Yep. Yes. Orbor Orberg is where the gym is. Cool. Okay. Uh, sure. Greatest trainer belt. Okay. Don't listen to him. He's kind of, he's kind of dumb. All right. So anyway, uh, now I'm good. Mm, okay. Writing an essay. Those blow. Uh, interesting. So, wait, what? That doesn't make much sense. Yep, that is indeed type weaknesses. <sighs> yep. Let's try it. What level is your Abra? Okay, Harrison, please don't murder my shanks. Okay, it's level six. This could be doable. Uh, oh, I, I have Thundershock now. Okay, the question is, because Abra is pretty frail, do I leer and go for a tackle? Or Thundershock? I feel like... Tackle would probably do more after a leer because he's physically. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. Okay. How many charge beams can I live? Mm, that did more than a. Okay, that was a crit. Okay. All right. That's all right. Cool, cool. Don't crit again. Do a lot. Uh, if it crits, I die. Mm. This might be a problem. Don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Okay. Okay. Yep. Special attack res. Okay. Hit him again. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Brilliant, Shinx. Brilliant. Really toughed it out, buddy. Good, good, good. Alright, so the next one should, in theory, be easier. Because now we are a higher level. But I definitely need to go heal first. Because if not, that will, um... Murder me. So, little girl, BRB... I don't know if they taught you this in school, but when your Pokemon are injured, you need to go do the thing to heal them. So let's just stop over here, get some heals going. It looks like I'm hitting around 40 minutes. So I think we're going to finish this up, do a couple more things in Jube Life, and then I think that's going to be the end of episode one. But we've still got a few more minutes of stuff to do. Because I know I want to do this. I need to do the clown. We can give it a shot. <sighs> okay. Abra, you real scary with your charge beam. Don't crit like the last one did. That'd be ideal. So if you could not do that, that'd be awesome. Don't crit. There, That's much better. Three damage. Perfect. Brilliant. Awesome. Everything I ever wanted. Okay. So this should do over half now. Hmm. Okay. Another crit. Cool. I don't like that these avers like to crit on... What? That did not do much more than... Okay. Some almost have better IVs. Don't crit. I think I still live even if he would have crit. Okay. And the avers are about done. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, we learn charge. Wait, 
Wait, what? Whoa, I don't think I ever did this in Diamond. I don't think I actually read the dialogue. Oh, work up. Interesting. Hmm. Would have actually been nice if Tesla could have learned that. I'd be better in charge. Um... What do I have on Tux? Oh, no, okay. Yeah, he just, he just learns it. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and save after that grueling battle. Oh. Scurry. Okay, so just went and healed. Oh, and forgot about this guy. This is the guy who tells me to do the thing. Yeah, I do not, in fact. Oh my. You are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture poke edges. Not only that, I'm now conducting the poke edge promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own poke edge. Cool. Thanks, man. There's one. Hey, you. Give me the thing. You can add apps? No, that's not as... That's not as... I forget what his voice was, so, uh... Please press the R button and try it out. Okay. Bye. Hmm. I didn't know there was a wallet. Yeah, we'll leave it on that. Uh, I did just heal, right? Yes. Hey, Quick Claw. I knew there was some reason to come in here, but I couldn't remember quite what it was. Actually, is there... There might be something upstairs, too. I believe there's a lady that's sitting at a table, unless I'm thinking of a different house. No, I'm definitely thinking of a different house. Okay, kill balls, cool, cool. Okay, so I think we have a rival battle here, I think. Okay, so Shinx is up first. Okay. So let's see how... Or if our Nuzlocke ends here. Let's see how it goes. Starly up first. Easy peasy. The problem is, is that we don't have a fire type. And we won't get one for... Well, we hopefully we'll get one somewhat soon. But I can't guarantee that we will. Because I still don't know how I'm going to do the whole, like, don't get cocky, kid. Okay, you're dead. Your Starly is about to die. Although your Turtwig is what I'm scared of. So. Oh, no, here it comes. Oh, wait, actually, no. Why am I scared of his Turtwig? We have Ari. Never mind. Yeah, no, this Ari's way back. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. Actually, do we even have a flying move? <laughs> no, we don't. Awesome. Oh my, this is going to take forever. He's withdrawing constantly. <sighs> Ha ha ha. 
What are you doing? This man's going for a plus six. Are you kidding me? You are not gonna plus six your Turtwig. Oh no, he is trying to plus... Okay, dude. Alright. Uh... Okay. I don't believe he's ground type yet. But I know he will have a grass move, right? Yeah, he's level 9. He will definitely have a grass move. I don't think he'll one shot though. And I did the the question is, is he gonna read the switch? Okay, no. He went for withdraw again. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, do not absorb or whatever you get as Turtwig. That did nothing. Ugh. Man, I really wish I had a TM that gave me a flying type move. I can't risk getting hit with a grass type move on him. I can at least keep Tesla alive in Thundershock. And I can lower his attack with Intimidate. Okay, we're gonna go for a charge. This fight just all of a sudden got really scary because of all these withdrawals he's doing. <sighs> Dude, your defense has to be near maxed at this point. Okay, nice, 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 nice damage. Nice damage. I was crit, though. Yep. Although you are like plus six in defense, so. Oh, that's going to be a three. That was a crit? Okay, but I got the paralysis. Okay, that's good at least. But he pushed through. Okay. Man, this fight was not supposed to be scary. What? He crit again? Okay. We're just going to play it safe and potion again. I can't lose Shinx. Okay, good. Got hit with full paralysis. Okay. Uh... Either way, it's going to take two turns. I might as well charge and then hit him with the Thundershock again. Awesome. He got locked in paralysis. Okay. Okay. And Turtwig is done, Z's. Goodbye. Ugh. That was too scary. There's the grass, or there's the flying move. All right. That would have been awesome. Like, you know, not now, but prior. <sighs> it's the last time you ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna go toughen up for that totally. Okay, bye. You suck, balls. Uh, uh, guys. I'm not scared, you were scared. Let's let's not get ourselves. All right, so I was hoping to make it to Orberg today, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I think what we're going to do instead is I'm going to go get our encounter for Route 203 up here. And then that's where I'm going to end it for today. So what are we going to get? Okay, Dupes Claws. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if the first, like three routes only have the same pool of Pokemon, so I just have to have a Bidoof now. Let me look that up before I continue searching the wild Pokemon for encounter tables, so hold on. Okay, well I did not mean to lie to you guys, but apparently I'm going to. 
uh, because we are not going to get our encounter right now because there is literally nothing in this patch of grass that we don't already have. I can get a different one later, like down the route. So instead, I'm going to call the episode here and hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, um, I'm sorry. What can I do better? Please don't hate me. Uh, but if not, you know, post it in the comments. Uh, if you have something that you want to suggest that we should do or anything like that, tips, tricks, stuff like that, stuff about the game that I don't know, uh, go ahead and post that in the comments below as well. And, um, I hope to see you guys next time. So again, I've been MMFK Death or Ryan. Have a good day.